All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to create a spaceship for, um, well, you could put it for your video game, but basically it's learn how to learn how to do box modeling. So box modeling is basically we're going to start with a box, press this button right here, turn this on. If this shelf is not on, just click over here and make sure it's in modeling. So I'll click that again, and I'll click over here. So there it is. It appears. Then I'm going to press the W key, and I'm going to just move it up and press the space bar, so space bar. And then I'm going to just basically look and put it right in the middle using this. So this orthographic mode, which we probably have already talked about. And I put my arrow over here, press space bar again, and I'm back to here. So I'm happy with that. Now I want to just, sometimes people don't have the same, they'll have this. So the hot key is four. So put your finger on the four key. Um, um, so that if I press three by accident, press one and it undoes it. And then I'll turn back five so it's full and later on when I add some color texture the number is six but right now nothing shows up and uh, so what I want to do is I'm going to click the R key and make this a rectangle okay so as you probably know these things uh, expand so W is move and E is rotate but definitely don't rotate it and then what I want to do now is move to space face mode now there's a couple ways to do do this, but the best way is clicking on the um, right mouse button and then just going to face. Okay, so you see I can rotate in here, edge, vertex, face. I know I'm in face mode and not object mode when the lines are blue. If I, I want to be back in object mode, which sometimes you need to do, basically one whole object is being moved. Now if I go back to face, it's blue. I'm going to go shift, click, and uh, alt. And then I'm going to shift click and I'm going to use the extrude command. So the hot key is control E. Um, and since I have both faces selected, what will happen when I pull this is it'll pull out. So this kind of creates, it's starting to create my ship. And I'm also going to show you now, you could go to the modeling uh, toolbox and there's the extrude command as well. Uh, but you know, control E extrude is the hot key, so that's probably a good one to know. And I'm going to press uh, extrude again or G. G is like the last command, so I'm going to press G just because it's easier, I find. And I want to just show you here. So I'm in extrude mode, obviously, and you'll notice there's both cubes and arrows. The arrows will move, so it's not really extrude. So I have both selected, that's really important. And I'm going to shrink this, so I'm still in extrude mode. And now I need to press extrude again. If I don't, look what will happen. So that's, unless you want to do that, but let's press extrude again. So G was the last command. So we'll make the wings pop out. Then I'm going to move those wings back. Notice I'm not hitting the cube. I'm hitting the arrow, push them back. And then I'm going to go to the top here. I'm going to do the same thing. Click and I'm press G for extrude. And I'm going to bring that up. Oh, actually before I do that, I'm going to zoom in and alt. And rotate and I'm using a cube again so make the fin a fin a little bit less thin and then I'll pull it out oh well guess what I have to press G for extrude again which I will and then I'll move this back so you, you see there's also these plates so these, you see this here it's not what I want to press I want to make sure that I see the arrow and I'm going to pull the arrow back it's really important a small detail but makes a huge difference and then we're going to go to the front here and then we'll press G as we extrude again. And I'm going to just shrink the front like this. And then I'm going to use the arrow and drop it down parallel to the ground. I'm pretty happy with that. So that's starting to be my ship. And I'm going to create the thrusters here. So I'm going to go click, shift, click. I'm still in face mode, by the way. If ever I get out of face mode, I just need to go here. A little reminder. And now I want to use uh, extrude again. So I'm going to go G for repeat the command, and so it'll be both at the same time. And notice I'm using the cubes here, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to press G again for extrude again, and I'm going to push it in. So I could go all the way back, but it keeps it so that you can see some. And now I'm pretty happy. So now I'm going to start using what are called edge loops. So edge loops are going to make things look a little bit more rounded. So if you see here, if I click... Uh, smooth so under mesh smooth oh and I have to be in object mode by the way for that to work mesh smooth so this is what my ship would look like you see this edge is pretty like tight 
it looks a little bit kind of weird. So I'm going to try and fix that. So I'm going to add an edge loop. So under Mesh Tools, I'm going to go Insert Edge Loop. It's really important that when I click on the edge loop, I select this line. Okay, because if I click it over here, it'll make the edge loop go all the way around. But I want it over here. And I'm going to click and hold down the mouse button. Okay, so my finger is still on the mouse button. I'm going to move it in. Okay, so I'm going to move it right here, let's say. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press the R key. And I'm going to expand it and press the W key and move it forward. Okay, about there, that's probably good. So again, I'm going to go to Insert Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop. I'll do the same thing over here. So I'll go right there, and I'm going to go R, and I'm going to expand it, press W, move it up just a little bit. And now I'm going to press, again, Object Mode, and I'm going to go File, and I'm going to uh, go Smooth. Pretty hot. It looks a little smoother though. So you see the edge loop added a little extra layer. So that's that's kind of pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to go Control Z and uh, yeah, let's see. I'm going to go in the back and create a thruster. So same thing over here. I go to face mode. Go face mode. Click and I'm going to click the extrudes or Control E and I am going to do using the cube. Like I did last time. So bring the thrusters in, press G, and I'm gonna alt to make sure that you can see the arrow and select the arrow and push it in. Looks pretty good. And I'm also gonna go and get the insert edge loop again. So mesh tools and insert edge loop. And I'm gonna click over here. And it's really important that yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. We'll bring it close to the edge. And I can go in object mode and press smooth just to see. Oops. Make sure I see the green wire framing there and smooth. So yeah, looks pretty good. So I'm happy with that. Okay, now you can customize this a little bit, of course. And uh, so I'll show you a few other things that you can do to make your ship look really cool. So uh, we're going to use lattices. So under uh, animation, so you're going to go here, click modeling, change it to animation. You're going to see that uh, there's going to be a new panel that shows up. So we're going to go deform. Let me just save it here, just in case. So I'm going to ask you to save it to your uh, your D drive, okay? And so I'll just save it here under Ship Dubo. So make sure you see where you're saving it, and that way you have access to it easily. So tomorrow, and you might want to save it before this step, but anyways, uh, do that. So now we're in animation panel, and I'm going to go to deform, and there's lattices, okay? This is a way to modify your model without uh, doing too much. Before we do that, though, we're going to smooth it out. Now this is where we're going to, so there's not a lot of polygons in this right now. But we're going to we're gonna increase it in an easy way. Uh, we actually do need to go back to modeling, so I did that. So I'm going to mesh, and I'm going to go smooth. So again, you go back to modeling, smash, smooth, and press on it maybe once more. That's it, not more than twice, because the more you do this, the harder it is on the uh, computer graphic card. And you see, I'm pretty happy with this. It means I did a really good job. If these, uh, you know, uh, polygons were crooked, I know I did something wrong. But I'm pretty happy with this, and therefore, this is where I want my ship to be before I start doing the lattice thing. So now I'm going to go back to animation. And I'm going to go to Deform Lattices. All right. And I'm going to click on these. You may not see this, but right over here uh, is Lattices. Okay. So what you do is you click on it. And then on the second one here, we're going to add a couple divisions. So I'm going to go with, let's say, four. Uh, let's do go six see what happens oh yeah six is way better because you see these allow me to transform or change things and I'm going to do the same thing here I'm going to go with C5 I'm pretty happy with that I think and so these lattices allow me to modify my ship oops and what I want to do now that I have the lattices selected is go to lattice points these are just basically like vertexes and I'm going to go and click shift and if you see, 
I just selected all of these. And I'm going to go shift click so that I can select both sides. And I'll make sure that I'm only hitting these two then press the W key. And you see, I can just move this out. I can, oops, control Z. And from the center, I can have them like this. If I only want to do one side, like to make them longer, I have to select one side at a time. And I'm going to go like this. And same thing here. So, oops, see, I missed some over here. So I got to be make sure that I got all of them before I move anything so I'm going to go like that and I definitely don't want to hit the ones down here so you might have to move your mouse so that you know, you're pretty happy and you may you may want to take a second to look if you move stuff and you can do the same thing at the back here or actually let's go alt this way you may want to just select the lattice points one at a time I'll let you take more time than that. You can move other parts, okay? Now, when you're done with that, you're going to select the ship. And if you're not in object mode, just go like that. Select object mode. To get rid of the lattice, what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit, delete by type, and then we're going to select history. And it'll get rid of it. Give it a second here. It's a little slow. So my ship just crashed, so, so this happens. But anyways, um, depending on things you're going, I'm going to show you two ways. So we're going to create a material. And much like the previous tutorial, it's in Hypershade Editor. So I'm going to open the Hypershade Editor. And you're going to notice that sometimes yours doesn't look the same as mine. So for example, a lot of you don't have the viewport, uh, maybe. And so let's go full screen for this. And first thing, uh, I'm going to say this, is sometimes this Hypershade ball, which hopefully will show up, doesn't work. So it's important to know that uh, Maya and the video card don't always cooperate uh, really well on these old computers. I'm going to click Viewport. And again, I'm going to press 5 so that I can see 5 on the hotkey on my keyboard. Because if you see this, you know it's the wrong thing. And then I want to drag it and place it there. And then I'm going to shrink this over. And I'm pretty happy with that. So there it is. And so this is kind of bringing this up. And what I want to do is I'm going to create a new blend. So I'm going to go down here, click blend, and I'm going to select a new color. So just click on that. And let's just go with this crazy blue neon. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to add that. So make sure it's in object mode. If you're not sure, just click and go object mode. And then um, click, or sorry, right click, go right click and go assign material to editor. So it adds that material. So that's like level three. If you're trying to do that, that's great. Um, so what I'm going to do is go back to where we were before, and I'm going to create a few other colors. So let's pretend um, I'll just create a couple, and I'll be right back here. So I've created three colors, but you may also want to go to the web, and I will show you another really cool way to uh, get some cool materials. So let's pretend I want wood material. Okay. So then you'll see a whole bunch of choices show up in Google. And what I'm going to get you to do is just find the one that you think would be the coolest. I'm going to go and click on it, get it as big as you can. I'm going to right click, save image as. I'll send it to my D drive just because it's easier to find than if you put it anywhere else. I will save as. It's going to take a second to open up. And wait here. So it's all downloads, but I'll change it to wood. I'll click save. And I'm going to go back to my Maya. And I'm going to create another one. So I'm going to again create a blend. And you may, I may actually want to name these. So blend four. I'll go wood blend. Blends. And I'll click over here. And you can bring in any type of file really that you want by clicking on this. So, so I'm going to click file. And see this pops up. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to my D drive. I told you to put on the D drive. And go get it. And it should be called wood now. So it's important that you name stuff easily. And so now I got these three, four materials. Now, 
I'm going to go over here. I'm going to switch to face mode and just show you, I mean, any way you can select several things. So, you know, you may want to go like this and just select all of these and then figure out like, all right, so I'm going to make these assigned materials. So that's the wood. If ever it doesn't show up, press the six key. Okay. And there you go. So I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to try to more or less, I'm going quickly here. So, you know, maybe that's not quite enough. So I'll go and try and get that other row. Um, you can zoom in. You've got a lot more time than I do. And then I'm going to go, same thing, assign material to selection. And then, you know, maybe I want the whole front to be this color, or this, this yellow here. Or maybe I want to add a little window. So I'm going to go all. And I'm going to just click here and I go shift, click, 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 click. And I'm going to add this window. So I'm here with editor. I think you get the idea. And I'm going to make the rest of this uh, black. All right. So, well, maybe I should have done that first. But you get the idea. You can, and you can zoom in here. Alt, and then go inside here. Click, shift, 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 shift. And then uh, alt. Just the move, click, shift, 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 shift. And I'm going to, again, maybe I want this blue. You got more colors. And just keep going like that and basically color your ship. So once you're done with that, so it looks like, well, geez, if I close this, it close Maya? No. Just close this. Now you see in Maya, if ever this doesn't show up, just make sure you click uh, number six, okay? Click off it. So uh, right click, we're going to go to object mode and then click. So that's what my ship looks like now. Now I got a pretty funky ship. So now I'm ready to do some screen grab. You see how the material looks so cool that we went and got? Instead of getting a color, you get a material. So really happy with that. So upload your screen grabs and you're done. If you have any questions, please let me know.